Hi guys, I'm Shlomik from Job Test Prep, and in this video we're going to talk about the Watson Glazer test. Being a notoriously difficult test, the Watson Glazer has been baffling and frustrating test takers for decades. But in the next few minutes, I'll do my best to shed some light on the test, what you can expect when taking it, and how best to prepare. Let's go! The Watson Glazer contains 5 sections with 40 questions total, to be solved in 30 minutes. Let's go very briefly over these five sections. Now note that I've included some sample questions throughout the video, so if you want to take a look at them, just pause the video because I'll be speedrunning this. The inferences section will present you with a brief text and a statement. Based on the text, you will be required to determine the validity of the statement out of five possible options. The recognizing assumptions section will present you with a short statement and an assumption. You will need to determine whether the person making the statement has made that assumption. The questions on the deduction section include a short statement and a possible conclusion. You should determine whether the conclusion necessarily follows the statement. The interpretation section looks just like the deduction section with one major difference. Here you will need to determine whether the conclusion follows beyond a reasonable doubt. This small difference causes many unprepared test takers to go wrong and hurts their score. So to prevent this from happening to you, make sure you understand it. The last section, Evaluation of Arguments, includes a short question and an argument to either support or refute it. Your task is to determine whether the argument is weak or strong for that purpose. Here are some tips from our study guides that will help you prepare and get a high score on the test. The Watson Glazer test has a very specific set of rules which you will not find on any other test. Practicing simulations of the real Watson Glazer will make them a natural way of thinking for you, and will dramatically increase your score. However, for the exact same reason, practicing with non-specific material can be detrimental for your success. In order to succeed on the Watson Glazer, you need to think like the test wants you to think. You should mostly ignore intuition, previous knowledge, and common sense. After helping thousands of customers prepare for the Watson Glazer, we know that it is genuinely difficult to develop such a mindset. So when you're practicing, Make sure you're willing to let your critical thinking guard down and think as the test rules expect you to. Thinking algorithms are methods designed to help you with the process of disregarding intuition and common sense I've just mentioned. Methods such as the ITDN table, the negative test, common inference, etc. are extremely valuable at achieving better performance and a higher score. Job Test Prep's Watson Glazer Pack will provide you with full-length simulations of the test as well as dozens of additional exercises and study guides. These are specifically designed to help you understand how the test works and what to do to get a high score. Well, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed and learned. If you have any questions about the test or the preparation, feel free to send me an email. Now it's your turn to practice. Good luck.